good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching this. It's Coffee Thoughts. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. So my day has been completely screwed up. I mean, like, completely. Um, I had to get up at 5.30 this morning and um, get Paul off to work because that requires me somehow. And um, then I come home and, because um, I, I took him to work this morning, I come home and um, I went back to bed because I'm, I gotta work tonight. Um, I've been picking up some um, extra weird days um, because their vacation is coming up and so I'm trying to um, earn some extra money. Because the company that I work for, you don't get paid for vacations. Um, so I'm kind of like saving some extra, stashing some extra money back for when I don't get paid. The benefits of this company outweigh the the, the negatives. So I, I'm I don't deal well with change. I don't know if you've noticed this, um, but like so I'm going to be working tonight, um, and so I had to allow for sleep and and everything. And that's why this coffee thoughts is you know a little bit later. The summer is in full swing in this house. Um, arguments galore. Uh, Emily is currently eating peanut butter with a spoon in the living room right now. Um, I'm not sure if that's a meal, but it is, um, according to her. The kids have went from eating um, twice during the day to eating 40. Um, I can't keep Chef Boyardee on the shelves. Uh, Will's probably running out of popcorn right now. Send help. Like that, that's, what, that's what we need. We need help. Call 911. Why, do, why, why does that happen? Like, when the kids come home for the summer, like, ugh. All the food, all the food disappears. It's nuts. But anyway, um, yesterday I went on a hike, and um, you'll get to see that in the uh, My Best uh, Life vlog. But I'm going to talk a little bit about it right now. Um, like, honestly, I am so out of shape. Like, during the summer, I try to do things and push us to do things that aren't, like, sitting on the couch and, and watching TV or YouTube. And so I try to push us outdoors and do things like swimming and hiking. And yesterday was not warm enough to go swimming. Um, although I felt like it was halfway through the hike. I felt like, you know, a pool would be really nice right now. Um, but like yesterday was bucket list. Um, like check, you know, check something off my bucket list. Um, if you, uh, you know, follow me on Instagram uh, or my Facebook page, I think I posted them on both. Um, then you can see, you know, pictures of me at the top. Um, we have this hike in our area. Um, it's called Raven Rock. And, um, like every year I see these posts of people, you know, like they post these pictures of them at the top and you can see like the whole County, like half the County, like all of the river and everything you can see for miles up there. And I always see people posting these pictures up there and like, I'm jealous as hell. I mean, like, honestly, and I've always wanted to go up there. It requires a permit for you to, to go up there. Um, and it's free, but they just want to know who goes up there. And so it doesn't get damaged and, and stuff like that. So, but that permit, I always like find there's zero time for me to go get this permit and, and I never do it and blah, blah, blah. And three years ago, I was like fit. We hiked all the time and I should have did it then. I almost died climbing this hill. And then according to Paul, they made this, the, the trail so much easier because apparently it used to just go straight up this really tall hill, mountains, like my kids like to say, but like, it's not a mountain. It's a, it's a big hill. And just straight up it. And this was full of like switchbacks and, and just kept going. Up. But I was breathing so heavily. I had to stop because I thought I was going to pass out because the world started getting wonky. I'm out of shape. Like 110% out of shape. Like, oh my gosh. But I made it. Um, and then like little known fact, Allie hates hiking. Hates it. She's that one kid that, you know. If you make her go hiking, you're going to listen to it. I personally believe that I was like complaining and dying louder than she was. Um, she was so mad she wasn't talking. Because her out of shape level is exceeds mine. Um, because all she's done this summer is sit and watch YouTube videos and go swimming that one time. So, um, mm, I got I to gotta drag her on some more hikes. I got to go on more hikes because like... It works muscles that like you just don't know you had and then when we got up to the top and we took all the pictures and then I sat there for a good like 20 minutes just taking it in because like little known fact 
it's not really little known. If you know me, then it's a big known fact. I am afraid of like heights and falling. Okay. And like <laughs> when we got up there to the top, I was like, all I could envision was Will just toppling over the edge and falling for a hundred, 200 feet. And, and like, he would not stop moving. So like, here I am up there and I'm like, you're, you're scaring me to death. And like my voice changed into like some evil monster thing. And like, Emily was like, Will, you gotta stop. Um, cause Will, he's, he's not old enough to detect the voice change, um, of when I'm having a panic attack. Um, like the other two are. So and he just kept skipping along towards the edge. And I was like, ah, um, but I sat there and I took it in for like 20 minutes. I sat there and I just stared off into the distance because there was just so much you could see. And I took lots of pictures and I relished in that moment. And I decided that I cannot go up that hill again until I'm more physically able to, um, because I pushed myself to go up there, but like in no way was I fit enough for that journey. But you know, I made it. And then when we get to the top, like Paul's like, you want to go down where they closed it, the, the trail, because it'd be faster to get down there to, um, to get to the car. Cause there was like one trail that went straight up, you know, and, and they closed that one probably because it was dangerous. And, um, and then they made this other one that switched backs and, you know, and it's longer, but he's like, and I was like personally looking forward to going down that one because it was all going to be downhill. Um, and, and not too steep of downhill. It was just, just going to be a casual walk back to the car. I was like, that was what my driving force was, you know, through all this. And <coughs> Paul, talks me into going down the old trail to go back. My legs were hopping by the time I got back to the car because it was so steep going downhill that like it used every muscle in my, my butt and thigh region. And mm, I was vibrating when I got down to the bottom of the hill out of shape. Jesus it was horrible. So Look forward to snippets of that from um, uh, On My Best Life this weekend, whenever I post it. I'm still not done um, videoing that vlog. That's like a two-day vlog because, like, I didn't realize I was going to video it until we, like, went on the um, on the hike. So, and I might do, like, a, a bathing suit haul. Even though I'm still not really happy with my body, I just gotta, I've got to embrace it. That's what I've got to do. So, how is your summer uh, so far with all the kids home and... Even if you don't have kids, how's your summer going? Because I like to hear about people that actually get to go do things without hearing mom, 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 hundred times. Mom, 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 share it, mom, 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 share it, mom, mom, mom. Um, but that's not all I got for you this morning. Uh, just a little life update, a little story, a little bit of coffee, and which is almost done. So, and so are my thoughts. So, and make sure you like this video. Make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Every single day.